Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. Trifle, a word meaning something of little value, importance, trivial. But trifle is not trivial when it comes to dessert. And made properly, that beautiful rich creamy custard poured over the sponge, soaked in sugar syrup and alcohol, layers of fruit, and then topped with whipped cream. <sighs> Grated chocolate on the top. It's a dessert not just rich in calories, but rich in history too. During the Tudor period, a trifle was a frothy mixture, a frothy dessert of rose water, cream, and a little ginger. But that's gone by the wayside now. It's evolved into this gorgeous recipe. Well, years ago, the Victorian era, I mean, the most popular desserts were sugar plums and syllabubs and flummeries. And we don't see junkets and any of those anymore. But the trifle has survived the time. And everybody makes trifle today in the UK, and especially during the holidays, especially at Christmas time. So what's the recipe for trifle? Well, every family has their own recipe, and they swear that their recipe is the original recipe, and that their family is the best. My mother even has her own recipe, and she says it's the best one ever. I must admit, it does taste good. The recipe I'm sharing with you is one that I made when I was at Balmoral Castle uh, with the Queen. And my recipe, rather than having sherry in there, actually has Drambuie. Drambuie is a uh, whiskey, uh, a Scottish um, heather and honey whiskey. And up in Scotland, they actually call it tipsy lead. Now, this is my version of the trifle the tipsy lead. So I'd love you to leave your comment below on how you make your trifle, your family recipe. Maybe it'll be better than mine. We start off with some bread or some sort of cake sponge in the bottom. It's best to use a dry sponge cake. Here's one I baked yesterday and I can take off the top from that and then I'm going to cut it into thin strips. Once I've got the strips, then I'm going to lay them out and sandwich them together with some jam. You can use raspberry jam, strawberry jam, apricot jam, and you can even make a chocolate trifle if you want to. There's an incredible re recipe in my cookbook, my latest cookbook, The Royal Chef at Home, for a chocolate pear and toffee caramel trifle. So take a look at that one. I'm using raspberry jam in mine. I just sandwich together. Once I've done that, then I can cut them into little fingers. During the Victorian era, the trifle just soared. It was so popular, everyone was making the dish and it was a great way of using up dried and leftover sponge. Start off laying pieces of sponge in the bottom and then work your way around the edge so it looks pretty. Trifle's all about the layers as well as the taste. And save the end pieces for the bottom. Nobody sees those. Once the sponge is in place, then we want some sugar syrup. We boil the sugar and water to make a nice syrup. And that's really going to sort of sweeten but rehydrate the sponge. So while that's still warm, we can pour that over the top. And then the drambuie. Be careful how much you put in. If you've got grandma coming for lunch, half a bottle of this in there, she'll be seeing flying reindeers. Next, the fruit. A nice layer on the top. And I like to do raspberries and strawberries and blueberries. And push it down. And make sure those berries are spread all around. So you see them. Look at that starting to take shape. Now we make the custard to go on the top. In England, most people use bird's custard powder and it tastes really, really good. I sometimes use that at home rather than making my own fresh. <laughs> I put a link to it in the description if you want to order some. All you do is add it to a little sugar, some milk, bring the milk to the boil, whisk it together 
Uh, and once it's all come to the boil, you've got a beautiful custard just to pour over the top. But we're making our own because the fresh version is so much nicer. The custard, I'm going to start off with some egg yolks in the bowl. And then into that, I'll add some sugar and a little cornstarch. And some of my favorite, oh, vanilla bean paste. I whisk those together and boil some cream. And then once the cream boils, whisk it onto the egg mix. Once it's all mixed in together, it then goes back in the pan and onto the stove and we whisk it till it all starts to come together. Growing up in the 70s, I think trifle was exploited. Mums were busy working and everyone was buying packet mixes. I mean, a ready-made trifle mix in the box and it had this synthetic cream and nasty blancmange. No wonder kids grew up not liking trifle. But with fresh fruit, fresh sponge, and this delicious custard topping, homemade, I think everybody's starting to like it again. Spread the custard out so that it covers all the berries. Then it just goes in the refrigerator to set. I like to make it the day before, especially if you've got family and friends coming over. All you need to do the next day is put some cream and chocolate on the top. Once the custard's set, then we can put the cream on top. Winston's really quiet today. He's wrapping presents for me, ready for Christmas. My new line of seasonings, he's helping me wrap them. Look. I've whipped some cream. Now you don't have to pipe it on top. You can just spoon it on top and make little peaks. Uh, but I'm gonna pipe mine. And then I've got some chocolate to go on the top. In England, we use the Cadbury's flake, but I've got some chocolate that I'm just going to grate over the top here. Chocolate, trifle, Christmas, come on. Well, I knew that was going to happen. I think I should wrap you up completely and ship you off somewhere. <laughs> it actually looks like a Christmas dog kennel. Oh, Winston. All that's left to do is to cut into it. Oh, that creamy custard, the fruit, the sponge on the bottom and Oh, the Drambuie and the vanilla. Absolutely gorgeous. It takes me back to being a young boy and, you know, with such a long and proud history of the trifle dating back to King Henry VIII, I think this recipe has earned its place and deserves a place in the British menu and especially at Christmas. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Show me your favorite recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Happy holidays. We'll see you again soon. I bet you'd like some of this. Oh. <laughs>